and welcome to this ANSYS video course on designing microwave passive components using the ANSYS electronics desktop, AEDT for short. And in the previous video, Introduction to Microwave Components, we discussed why there's a growing demand in passive component technology for new designs and technologies to meet the needs of 5G and beyond. And in this video, we're going to create and simulate a branch line quadrature hybrid using ANSYS circuit, HFSS 3D layout, and HFSS MCAD design types, all available in AEDT. So a branch line quadrature hybrid is used for combining or splitting the power of a signal. As many applications such as in power dividers, phase shifters, balanced amplifiers, quadrature amplitude modulators. So let's start with what is the branch line coupler? The branch line Quadra Hybrid is a four port network device and it consists of four microchip lines, typically a single section branch line coupler of two lines with a characteristic impedance of Z0 and the other two branches has the characteristics of Z0 over the square root of two ohms. And in the microwave circuits, 50 ohms is widely used as characteristic impedance. It's also called a 90 degree or quadrature hybrid in which each of the transmission lines has a quarter wavelength difference. And the device is symmetrical and hence any port can be used as the input port and the port adjacent to the input port acts as an isolated port where there is no signal and the other two ports that are opposite to that input and isolated port are the output ports with half of the input power each and a 90 degree phase difference between each other. When I usually think of a coupler, I think of a three port device, two signals that come in and the coupler combines them and one single port out. Or conversely, a signal comes in and it splits into two and we have two output ports and with some amount of coupling or, or split. Of course, the coupler can have a fourth port, which is terminated. But a branch line component is a 3D coupler, but it gets also consider this 90 degree hybrid. So there are many reference textbooks on electromagnetic theory or microwave components. And here's a textbook example from one of these references, the branch line coupler example problem from the chapter Power Dividers and Directional Couplers in Microwave Engineering by David M. Pozar. The design requirement is for a 50 ohm branch line quadrature hybrid at some F0 as parameters to be plotted between 0.5 F0 and 1.5 F0. The microstrip configuration is shown in this reference. Let's simulate the branch line hybrid using the ANSYS electronic desktop. Go to the desktop tab and insert circuit design. And in the workflow window, select none and click OK. So let's design this branch line hybrid for 3.6 gigahertz, which is one of the 5G sub-6 frequencies. And to calculate the length and width of the microstrip lines at this resonance frequency, let's use the transmission line design wizard inside of HFSS circuit. Click on the circuit tab on top of the ribbon area, select TRL, microstrip, single, and launch as the tool. And a new window pops up. Click on new to create a new substrate. Input the substrate name, let's use FR4. Enter the substrate property as shown. And under the trace metallization, use the default copper, enter the copper trace thickness, click OK to accept the substrate material, and then click on OK to open the Microchip TRL window. And this tool is very flexible. You can input the length or the frequency for analysis to determine the characteristic impedance and the electrical length, or input the characteristic impedance, electrical length, and frequency to synthesize the width and the length of the microstrip. For our case, let's enter the first characteristic impedance, 50 ohms, electrical length, 90 degrees as the length should be a quarter wavelength, and a resonance frequency of 3.6 gig. And click on Synthesize to get the width and the length of the microstrip line. Click on Place to accept these values. Similarly, let's synthesize the length and the width of the 35.4 ohm characteristic impedance, and then arrange the lines as shown to form a branch line coupler. Now, let's add sources. In the schematic ribbon tab, select the interface port and add it to the first microstrip line. Double click on the port and feel free to modify it for microwave port and click on edit sources. And in the pop-up window under add new source, select voltage, sign your source and click on add to the selected port. 
Set the AC mag value to 1 and the frequency to 3.6 GHz. Click OK to accept and close all the windows. Copy and paste this port to connect the other microchip lines as shown. Now let's add a solution setup. And in the Project Manager window, expand the circuit design, right mouse click on Analysis, and select Add Nexum Solution Setup and Linear Network Analysis. Now window appears, click on Add and give the start, the stop, and the step values as shown, and click on Add and click OK to close the window. Right mouse click on Analyze and click on Analyze. And the analysis in the circuit will be done within no time. And in the Project Manager window, right click on Results category, select that standard report rectangular plot with the S parameter chosen in the category. Select the S parameters as shown with DBS function. Click on New Report and close the window. And here's the S parameter result plot. And this plot looks exactly like that plot in the reference textbook. Right mouse click on the report to add an X marker, align it with the S11 min. And now let us implement the branch line coupler using a component instead of the circuit. Insert a new circuit design and click on View tab on the top of the ribbon area and select to view the component library. In the component library, sub window expand distributed microstrip coupler and select microstrip branch line coupler. Input the substrate properties as shown previously in that pop up window. And as you can see, this component has parameters to define the width and the length. And to see what these parameters define, double click on the component. Go to that component tab and click on the button next to info. And close this window. Go to the parameter values tab and edit these parameters with the width and length values obtained from the TRL wizard before. And you can define design variables for the length and width of 50 ohms and 35.4 ohm microchip lines. Connect the ports to the terminals of the component and add a solution setup. Now to analyze, right mouse click on analysis and click on analyze. Browse to the S parameter result plot and you can see our model is resonating about 4 GHz. Thank you for watching this video on the branch line coupler and how to create it in the circuit design using the TRL wizard and the branch line coupler component. In the next video, we're going to analyze this branch line coupler model in the HFSS 3D layout and then in HFSS MCAD. And for more courses on ANSYS electronics tools or any of our ANSYS simulation tools, please go to ANSYS.com forward slash courses today.